Welcome. In today's video I'm just going to show you how to use the Freedom Local Player version 3.4. Now this is the player that's included in each export you do from the Freedom VMS software. So this is included by default on uh, the media that you back up to. Once you insert the media, uh, if you have Auto Run enabled on your PC, uh, the player should start in about 30 seconds or so. If it doesn't start, what you do is navigate to the location, the drive that the uh, backup is located in. In my case it's on my G drive, just here. So if I see over here, these are the files. Uh, and we have one called Start Freedom Player. And I would double click on this Start Freedom Player to open the application. Uh, but before I do, I just want to run over a few other things. Um, the folder structure on each export in Freedom. We have two main um, folders here, the CCTV and the player folder. Under the CCTV folder we have two subfolders, one for images where the images are located and one for video where the actual video files are located. And if you need help, we've got a help um, option here. If you double click on that, that will allow you to open the uh, PDF manual provided you have a PDF reader on, on your computer. So you have the PDF guide there as well. Okay, let's get started. I'll open the player. In my case, I'll double click on the Freedom Start Freedom Player. And this opens the uh, player and usually starts playing on the first video in the list. I'll just run over the uh, layout of the local player. Up here we have the source um, drive. In my case it's G, you can select a different drive if you have footage in other locations. And just over here, this is the current folder that it's opened in, which is CCTV. And we have the um, export files listed here. Um, and we have filters, so if I untick uh, pictures, so you can see um, these are the videos, and these are the pictures. Now to open a video or picture, uh, you just double click and they open over on the right hand side. That's obviously a picture, it's got the name down here. And this is a video. Now I'll just go over a few uh, context menu options. If you right click over the uh, right video area, this is the uh, context menu you're presented with. Um, so you've got to validate uh, watermark. If the uh, footage is from a Freedom server, you can click on the validate watermark, click validate. And in this case, it is a valid uh, file. It hasn't been tampered with. So I'll go OK, close that. We've also got the version of the player. If I click on that, that'll tell us what version I'm running. And we can go to full screen. Maintain aspect ratio or not, maintain is on by default. Uh, and you can convert to uh, AVI format. You just point it to the video file that you want to con convert and it'll change that to an AVI. Now the player does support uh, digital zooming. So if I wanted to uh, zoom in, I can use the mouse to draw a uh, rectangular area starting from the top going diagonally down. It allows me to zoom in. I can also use the mouse wheel, which I'm doing here, to zoom in into an area. If I wanted to move about an area, I click on this uh, drag box within the zoom uh, interface here, control. I can uh, navigate to a different part of the zoom position. And I can also, to uh, return to original state, I can right click and select original size. Um, or use the mouse uh, button again until the uh, zoom control disappears. And we've got, if you are viewing uh, POS data from the local player, you can hide. Uh, you can toggle between hide and show POS data if you haven't. That's the text overlay on the video. Okay, now I'll just go, uh, go over the, uh, the controls down here. Pretty straightforward. Uh, you've got the play, pause, stop, uh, go to beginning, uh, previous frame, next frame, uh, go to end, take a snapshot, 
or print, you can print the current frame. Uh, this controls the speed of the video. So if I wanted to start playing again and speed it right up. The speed at which it plays back is dependent on the uh, media, how fast your meter can play back. And clicking the little uh, man icon uh, returns it to normal speed. If you had audio, uh, you could turn the sound up uh, or mute the sound. And if you double click, it will go to full screen and escape or double clicking again will return to uh, normal screen. Now there are a number of keyboard shortcuts that you should be aware of. Now the spacebar on the keyboard is the pause play toggle. So hitting that will pause the video or play the video. So if I click it over here or tap my spacebar, you can see and tap it again, it pauses the video. And the left arrow and right arrow, uh, left arrow uh, is previous frame and the right arrow is uh, next frame. So if I unpause it, then click back, I'm clicking the uh, left keyboard arrow. Now I'll go forward, the right keyboard arrow. So that's how you do it. Now if I click space again, that'll start playing. Now you can also hide the uh, left uh, file and navigation pane here by clicking this uh, button up here. This is particularly handy on uh, smaller width uh, screens. So you can see a lot of the video and you can still have the controls visible. And if you want to return and get the uh, navigation pane back, you click on this little uh, icon here. So that can be quite handy at times. And just one more thing before I wrap up this video. If you are playing HD footage back from a DVD or CD-ROM drive, um, on some older units or older CD drives, the uh, throughput is insufficient and you might find uh, the player unresponsive when playing back HD uh, footage from a CD. In that case, we recommend copying the, um, the CD to a hard drive or USB uh, drive or something like that for a better experience. Okay, that wraps up the, uh, this video. Thanks for watching.